We're out at the biggest, littlest known hidden curb spot gem in California. Uh, I got my Starbucks here. Who would have thought moving to California would have made me such a basic bitch? I want to get front tails down like locked, back tails down locked, and then I want to get a front nose 270 out today. That's the plan. One more thing guys, I've uh, gone back to my natural hair color. As you can see, I just take a bleach in my hair, it hurts too much and it too much maintenance. I'm trying to be maintenance free as possible. So yeah, I have black hair now. I hope you guys don't unsubscribe. Alright, so I kind of figured out with the front tail, like I used to put my front foot like here and try to get on super close to the bolts, but if I place it like towards the middle, it gives me better leverage. So when I'm on, when I'm on the ledge, my foot's like, you know, instead of being over here. So that's what sucks. So I'll show you guys real quick. That's what I mean. Yeah, this is how I used to do front tails. My front foot didn't really move, but this is how I'm going to start doing them. See, it's more of a solid, like, you're landing more solid, so just got to pull my foot back a little bit. That was bad, but let me, let me get a better one. It felt more secure getting in. I think I'm having a problem with my back foot. My back foot isn't in the right spot. So I've got to fine tune the front foot, fine tune the back foot, and hopefully I can get a good front tail on this curve. Front tail is one of those tricks, like I've been able to do them since I was young, but I haven't really figured them out if that makes sense but i think i figured it out like having your front foot like here and then your back foot kind of over here can you see you have to look at my feet this side yeah i could see because then when you pop to get on you're in your front because my foot my back foot was like here before and i could never control the front tail but if it lands like here and then your front foot is kind of in the middle. I feel like there's more control. Because I'm on the ball of my foot, I'm not on. I used to be like here and it sucked. That's how I hurt myself. So my front foot has to be, my back foot has to be like here, I think. My front foot's like here. When you get on the freeway you have to match the speed of the freeway and smoothly merge it's kind of like that you have to ollie turn and like smoothly merge onto the ledge because you don't want to go bang bang because if you slap it down it screws up your momentum that's what i figured out doing those back tails last week so i'm going to try to get a decent one on on this ledge right here like that but obviously i'm still figuring out how to hold my weight See what I mean? I think when you're in the back tail, you kind of got to be like the weight is like here. My weight was like that. So if you try again. So I can get in and out, but holding it is what you want to do. Oh, wow. Don't get me wrong.
wrong, back tail to fakie is dope, but I just feel like all I'm doing is allowing my weight to take over and like pull me out of the trick. Whereas I'm trying to hold it on top of the ledge to get like a solid back tail. It was short, huh? So I've been messing with front tails, messing with back tails. Uh, there's one more trick I want to try to get. It's a front nose 270 out. I haven't done many. I've done like probably three in my life. So I'm going to give it a crack on this little ledge. Not to complain about this spot, but as you guys can see, it's at an angle. So you lock in kind of funny, which is fine. It's just not a straight up and down ledge. Like say if this was flat here, it'd be straight up and down. This is kind of angled. Whoa, that's slippery. <laughs> Cut. You know what? It might be easy just trying to do a front nose 270. Foot placement again. It's up. It's foot placement, guys. I slid a little bit. Are you okay? I'm done. On your way back, bring me his son. On, 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 on your way back, bring me his son. We found a tunnel on the side of a mountain off the freeway, so we're going to go check it out right now. <coughs> what a shit dump here. Look at this. Are you okay? What happened? What's that movie called? And they can't make noise, they have to walk on sand. Because there's those monsters they can hear. Oh. Them. <laughs> Tremors. No, that's not it. Tremors. Remember? No, it's not. It's like, don't, it's like, the, he's like that, and they have to walk on sand, and it's like oh. this. Because there's monsters that can hear. This is where we're going. I don't know where this goes. It's sketchy. Go it's like Blair Witch Project. Oh, that tree is creepy. Look at it. It's a creepy ass tree. The movie was called a, a Quiet Place. This reminds me of a quiet place because it's just like we're walking on sand and there's all like the wind whistling the trees and stuff. It's this way, we gotta go over here. Oh, it's it's a stream. No, we can go in. But it's a stream. Whoa, you wanna go swimming? Look, hot springs. Look at that. Let's go have a look. Whoa. Whole last spot to paint. Look at that. That's pretty sick. Come on. I'd found, I'd seen this spot from the highway driving home. But uh, yeah, I guess today's the day we went and checked it out, guys. That bush was creepy. There was a bunch of like random rubbish and stuff. We're in the tunnel, guys. Check it out. We're in Picton Tunnels. <laughs> not really. This one might not be haunted. Picton Tunnels is haunted. Where does this go? Yeah, let's check it out. 
Mister. That's a pretty sick piece. <laughs> What's that one? Style. I've seen his pieces so much over here. This dude gets up. Should we see? Go run to the top. <laughs> Probably walk to the top to be honest. Ah, is it that know. is it steep? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Come here. Put your foot sideways and run up. Sideways. Put your feet sideways. I think I'm more scared because I don't have grip on my feet. Mm. Ah, I'm scared. Yeah, you're wearing green too. Give me your hand. <laughs> your hands are all clammy. What did you do? I sn I'm nervous. Whoa. What is this place? Just a big dam. Imagine if this was skatable. Imagine if we could build a spot here, like smoothing it out, and you could like skate the rock wall here. Look at this big natural rolling. You can roll into it, and you have to stop before you get to the water there. Wow, what a find! You could come and paint here, I guess, if you wanted to roll on a spot somewhere. It looks pretty full though. I don't know where you could paint here. You could do a big roll over there, but no one would see it. Fun little spot. We're leaving the tunnel. We're gonna go walk back to the car. There's some like little graph under a bridge up here. We're gonna go check it out real quick before we before we go. Wow, look, we're under a bridge. It's pretty cool. Whoa, look at that giant bank. That giant bank over there. Both of them. This one and that one. Wow. Yeah. This looks like a waterway. Check out the scenery. Little road bridge here. Some sand, some mountains. This could have been a riverbed like a hundred years ago, maybe. You never know. If, it, if you break it, I'll buy it. There's plastic on the grip tape. That's what it's MTV skateboard. Damn. We did a first tee, we didn't we didn't we didn't record it though. Is there any Tony? What? Show me the graphic on the bottom. Wow. Is this real? Everyone's out here wilding, wilding out in Walmart. Is this real? No, nah, it's like some plastic. It's like fake rubber. Yeah. How much are these? 20 bucks? 20 dollar skate. I don't know how much these are. They'll, it'd be like 20 oh, or something. 50. 50 bucks? I remember, I remember. No. Actually, I came here and they were 50. That's too much for a Walmart At Target, board. they're 70. No, look, $15. Oh, that one's 15? $15 for a Walmart skateboard. I... Alright guys, I'm just chilling behind the, the artificial fire here. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a comment below if you're new here. Make sure you subscribe, drop a thumbs up. Head on over to eveningmob.com. Join the mob today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a little bit of skating, some break dancing, and a little bit of urbex. So yeah, leave a thumbs up, drop a comment below, subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's not even Christmas, yeah. <laughs>